Beyond the House of Pain lies a garden of achievement. It's a focus phrase. It's been around for a while. It's something that uh, myself and my good friend and colleague Denny Roll invented a number of years ago. And I've been asked quite a number of times exactly what it is, what does it stand for, and it is a simple focus phrase. Beyond the House of Pain lies a garden of achievement. And it started life a number of years ago uh, in training. Den and I were coaching a group of athletes and Den said, come on boys, if we're going to get the most out of this, you've got to get into the house of pain. And then without thinking about it, I said, and we all know boys, what's beyond the house of pain, the garden of achievement. And there, a focus phrase was born. It's actually gained a whole life of its own over the last years. People have used it in dissertations, in, in A-level. But then we kind of changed it. It's evolved over the years. And it's not just about sport. It's actually about life in general and it's about a whole host of things and it translates perfectly. So in training, we talk about a training zone. We talk about getting your heart up to a certain number of beats per minute, that's the zone. If you're training outside of the zone, then you're not actually getting the most. And that's where we're talking in sports terms, we talk about the house of pain. But a house of pain can be anything. The house of pain can actually be, for me, outside sport it's DIY that's my house of pain I hate it I hate DIY like there's no tomorrow but I have to get into the house of pain and leave the path of comfort which normally is uh, sitting with my feet up having a glass of wine uh, to get something done I mentioned that it's a focus phrase um, focus phrases can be anything they can mean anything and when I, when I thought of this and I thought we can use this in training uh, I just think well what is it and then I thought you know what it is it's a focus phrase, and I was almost like Archimedes. I jumped out of the bath and went, yeah, I've invented a whole term, focus phrases. And then a little while later, I got to read about CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, and that's what they talk about, focus phrases. So I didn't invent the term focus phrase at all. I'd love to have, but I'm really not that clever. They're used really to snap yourself back into line. When times are getting hard, when you really need to focus on what you're doing, you just need that little jolt, then for us, it's beyond the house of pain lies a garden of achievement. Whenever you're in the middle of something that's bringing you down or whenever you're doing some training and it's getting tough, beyond the house of pain lies a garden of achievement. We actually said you have to beware. You have to leave the path of comfort because the path of comfort goes round the side of the house of pain to a big door. And from there, you cannot get in to the house of pain. Yes, my friends, that door, that gate is locked. The only way to get to the garden of achievement is to go through the house of pain, down the stairs, into the house. Well, once you've been in the house of pain and you've conducted whatever you need to do, you can actually leave through the side exit and through the gate that leads into the Garden of Achievement. So I suppose what we're talking about here is, is exactly what is your comfort zone? What do you need to do to get out of it? What step are you going to take today to actually step off that path of comfort and into the house? I even had one of my colleagues the other day, one of my athletes say, well, within the garden of achievement, can there be a path of enlightenment? Well, of course they can. It's your garden. When you, whatever you want in your garden, if you want a path of enlightenment in your garden, and we've had people add into this, we've had, uh, you have to leave the path of comfort over the bridge of uncertainty that's a good one we even have the apartment of hope and that's my question to you are you dwelling in the apartment of hope right now every journey as we say begins with a first step first step towards the house of pain what are you going to do are you going to take that step towards the house of pain or are you going to dwell in the apartment of hope